I can feel something soft and something hard under my skin. What are these? Crocs, below the skin we have hard structures called bones and the soft part which you can feel are muscles. But I wonder what role do bones and muscles play in our body? Crocs, bones and muscles play a very important role in the functioning of our body. Let us read about them. You have learned about different systems of your body in class 3. For your body to function properly, all the systems have to work smoothly and in coordination with each other. In this lesson, you will learn about the skeletal system. Your skeletal system consists of all the bones and joints of your body. The skeleton is the framework of the body. It protects your soft internal organs. It gives support and shape to the body. You are able to move because of your bones. There are 206 bones in an adult human body. The skull, ribcage, backbone and bones of the limbs form the skeletal system. What is a bone? A bone has a thick, hard outer wall mainly made up of minerals, calcium and phosphorus. Bones have their own blood supply and nerves. Many bones are hollow. The long bones of the body are filled with a soft and fatty substance called the bone marrow. The blood cells are manufactured in the bone marrow. Parts of the skeleton Skull The skull is made up of 22 bones. The brain is enclosed by 8 flat bones interlocked with each other. There are 14 facial bones that form the face. All the bones in the skull are fixed except for the lower jaw. This enables the animals to chew food and humans to talk and chew food. Rib cage. The rib cage is made up of 12 pairs of curved bones called ribs. The ribs join from the backbone to the flat bone called sternum present between the ribs in front. Sternum located at the center of the chest holds the ribs together. The two lowest pairs called floating ribs are joined only to the backbone and not the sternum. The rib cage protects the heart and the lungs from injury. Backbone or the spine. The backbone forms the main axis of the skeleton. It is made up of 33 small bones, each called a vertebra. The backbone is also called the spine or the vertebral column. The vertebrae are arranged one over the other and form a tube-like structure. The backbone protects the delicate spinal cord. We have two pairs of limbs, the forelimbs or arms and the hind limbs or legs. The bones of the forelimbs are joined to the spine by the shoulder girdle and the collar bones. In the upper arm, there is only one bone called humerus. In the lower arm, there are two bones called radius and ulna. The hands have very small bones. The upper arm joins the lower arm at the elbow. The thigh bone or femur is the longest bone in your body. This bone fits into the hip girdle. The lower leg is made of two long bones called tibia and fibula. The feet have many small bones. The upper leg joins the lower leg at the knee. Join. A joint is a place in the skeleton where two bones meet. Strong, flexible tissues called ligaments hold the bones together at joints. Immovable joints. These are the joints that do not allow any movement. They are also known as fixed joints. The joints present between the bones of the skull except the lower jaw are immovable joints. Cartilage is not present between the bones of the joints. Movable joints. Most joints present in our body 
allow movements of bones and are called movable joints. Movable joints have cartilage between them to prevent the bones at a joint from rubbing against each other. There are four types of movable joints. The hinge joint, the ball and socket joint, the pivot joint and the gliding joint. Hinge joint. This type of joint can open and close like the hinge of a door. In hinge joints, movement is limited in only one direction so that the angle between bones can increase or decrease at the joint. Your elbow, fingers and knees are examples of hinge joints. Ball and socket joint. The shoulder and hip joints are examples of the ball and socket joint in the body. The end of one bone is round like a ball and fits into the other bone which is hollow like a socket. These joints allow maximum movement in all the directions. Pivot joint. These joints allow rotation around an axis. A rod-like bone fits into a ring formed by another bone. The pivot joint is present between the skull and the first vertebra. It allows your head to move sideways and up and down. Gliding joint. In this kind of joint, the bones slide past each other. Gliding joints are present in ankles, wrist and the vertebrae of the backbone.